Okay, so we were studying about solenoid. This is structure is known as solenoid, and in this solenoid structure, we studied this thing that this is a coil which is made up of copper, and it is connected with battery. So this is known as solenoid. These rings are known as solenoid. Okay, so now we are going to study about solenoid. So this is my battery, positive terminal and negative terminal. Remember that positive terminal is known as south terminal and negative terminal is known as north terminal. And here we put coil and we attach this, okay. So the coils should be very equal and not as rough I made like it should be very smooth we studied this okay you can see how these uh, these are coils okay coils of copper these are copper coils and how they attach with this uh, how they attach with this battery okay so there will be one positive and one negative so the main purpose I'm drawing this uh, lines very big, uh, these coils or turns very big because this is most important thing. Okay, just and they should be same. Okay, so we know that how current will pass. Okay, so current will pass like this. Okay. Okay, and finally it will come here. Okay, because how the current flows? Current flows from south to north or it should flow from positive to positive to negative. We studied this, that this is how the current flows and in same case will happen that this is how current flows. So in this case, the current will flows. Okay, but as this is uh, copper wire, we know that this is copper wire. So as this is copper wire, this uh, copper wire is ma uh, metal. And as we pass electricity with metal, okay, so metal plus electricity will convert into electromagnet electromagnet okay so this is how electromagnet is formed and this is the whole electromagnet is formed so in this case in this type of electro so this is electromagnet now this is electromagnet and we know that this is south pole and this is north pole so this is electromagnet or the basic thing that is magnet okay electromagnet means it is a magnet it becomes mag it became magnet due to electricity it become magnet due to electricity Okay, so it become electricity due to, uh, it become magnet due to electricity. This is South Pole and this is North Pole. So what would happen that it behaves like a magnet and it behaves like a magnet as we studied that it behaves like a magnet because it is magnet. Okay, it turns into magnet. So this is magnet and this how current flow, but same time it will develop to magnetic field lines. Okay, it will develop some magnetic field lines like this okay so it is it will also develop some magnetic field lines S same in uh, what happened in magnet same case and so many magnetic field lines will produce Okay, and we can draw this further, further. So this is same, this will turn into magnet. Okay, so this is our solenoid. Now what happens to a magnetic field line or what we can understand in a magnetic field line. In magnetic field line of a uh, magnet, we if, if I want to complete this path, this path will complete like this. 
okay or if i want to complete this path this path will complete like this it means that magnetic lines goes from north to south outside the magnet uh, outside okay and south to north inside south to north inside okay so it will flow like this in say in this case same thing will happen okay as you see that this pole is south pole and this pole is north pole so how electricity flows or south pole is positive or north pole is negative what happened that you can see that how electricity is flowing electricity is uh, taking the root of this wire and it is flowing from south to north okay it is uh, flowing from south to north okay my kitten is also attending the class while you can hear his voice so don't get distract so it is it goes here okay it goes here so it goes from south to north you can see this you can see this direction or direction of this arrow and finally it will it will it will go like this and come to this okay so it same thing happen that it goes from same thing happen it goes from south to north okay when it is inside okay and as the magnetic field develop so this magnetic field line is going north to south outside okay so this uh, solenoid is doing same thing as this magnet okay what happens with this solenoid this is our solenoid okay what happens with this solenoid we can see that in this solenoid this is the solenoid you can see this is south pole and this is north pole and you can see these coils and how the current will flow the current will flow and finally reach to the north pole and this is how the current will flow so current will flow from south to north or positive to north inside okay inside the coil okay this is how it is attached okay so this is how it will reach okay this is how it will reach to negative terminal this is south and this is north pole so this is uh, inside we can consider that this is inside a solenoid okay this is inside a solenoid this thing is inside a solenoid okay this is inside a solenoid okay but it will develop a magnetic field lines also and these are the magnetic field lines as this is south pole and this is north pole so magnetic field lines are also developed okay these are magnetic field lines okay so while going from while going from south to north okay they are taking inside path they are taking inside path okay while going south to north and while going north to south they are taking outside path okay so this is our bar magnet and if i consider this okay same thing will happen that they go south to north north to south sorry outside and south to north inside south to north inside okay so this this is how uh this solenoid okay resembles with this bar magnet this is how the solenoid works like a bar magnet that south to north south to north inside and north to south north to south outside so this is how it works and this is solenoid you can see so one more thing i want to tell you about this solenoid that in this solenoid the solenoid which is covering the area the proper solenoid okay this is the proper solenoid this is the proper solenoid 
okay though it this is the proper solenoid why we are talking about this is proper solenoid because the current electricity or current or electricity will pass through these coils okay so you can say the electricity will pass only through these coils and they will develop a magnetic field around them but this is south and this is north so the electricity is passing through this only this region electricity is passing through this region and another reasons electricity is passing through this regions and uh, electric field is formed outside this region so this is south and north and we studied how the magnetic field lines flow so something which is flowing inside which is south to north and outside which is north to south okay we studied this so this is solenoid and the proper solenoid proper solenoid means the solenoid which is made up of coils proper solenoid is the solenoid which is made up of coils this is proper solenoid okay this is proper solenoid so it will direct pass current okay it will direct pass current by one side to other side and magnetic field lines are also developed okay so magnetic field lines are something different and current is something different okay so this is the proper solenoid okay this is proper solenoid so we can say something is passing inside something is passing inside we have this route south to north and something is passing outside magnetic field lines north to south so this probe only this thing which is made up of coil the reason which is made up of only coils the reason which is made up of coils okay this is the place which is or the region in the solenoid which is made up of coils proper coils okay so the region or the place okay which is made up of coils copper coils okay this region is can having these magnetic field lines you can see this region is having these magnetic field lines okay we can see this region is having these magnetic field lines this region is having magnetic field lines you can see this solenoid region okay this solenoid region which is made up of coil it is having these magnetic field lines you can see this magnetic field lines this region okay so this is also having some magnetic field lines inside it okay so these magnetic field lines the amount of oh fazan you are too late too much late today what should i do now should i revise you this or uh, should i continue tell me salia what should i do he is too late today what should i do i will do whatever you will tell me because it will be very difficult for you to understand anything Rajan, tell me. Okay, so, Salya, should I revise this again because he is late today? Anything? Because you know this is very much important thing, so I can't skip this. Okay, but if I continue, Rajan, you it will be very difficult for you, difficult for you to understand. Okay, so. Okay, so you have finished this chapter in in your school, and like why you are then taking extra classes? You are taking extra class. Okay, wait for a minute. Wait for a minute. okay i will revise you this in 2 minutes okay this is our solenoid we studied this in last class that this is our solenoid this uh, solenoid is made up of this type of copper wire you can see the copper wires you can see the copper wire you can see the copper wire and how it is attached it is attached with the battery it is attached with the battery having positive and negative sides okay it is having positive and it is having negative sides so it is how this is attached okay so this is our solenoid this is our solenoid okay this is copper wire now 
we are working for real solenoid that yeah this is our solenoid okay so in this case you can see in this case you can see 